our societies are facing increasingly more complex challenges, which call for innovative and often interdisciplinary approaches. FIAS is a home to theoretical scientists who want to build bridges connecting different fields of science to investigate, to attack fundamental scientific questions. Within the CMMS project, four research groups were established in 2020. While the four research group leaders have different background, they are all interdisciplinary oriented. The common goal is to find theoretical and algorithmic solution to overcome the scale constraints in biological experiments. At the CMMS, experimental and theoretical researchers are working together to understand life from a single molecule level up to the level of complex organisms. And in our everyday life, processes that take place on different length and time scales play an important role, and so multi-scale modeling is crucial to understand these processes. We can expand our understanding of cellular noise control mechanisms at the tissue level in direct collaboration with experimentalists that look at that scale. At the same time, by interacting with groups that study systems more at the molecular level, we can gain a more microscopic understanding of how these mechanisms are implemented. Our main method is molecular dynamic simulations. These are very sophisticated physical models of molecular systems and that allow us to study the dynamics, to see how they move, and from that we can understand many things. The data we produce in molecular dynamic simulations uh, are just gigantic, terabytes of trajectories, and very often we still analyze them by visual inspection. But we are increasingly more discovering that um, artificial intelligence methods are so much better at doing that and at translating what is hidden in these trajectories into quantitative knowledge. And this is what actually really excites me. The main goal of our research is to understand how living systems can reliably process information in spite of the fact that the underlying mechanisms are fundamentally stochastic. To this end, we develop spatial stochastic simulations based on biophysics and biochemistry, which allow us to accurately model the biological noise and to understand the mechanisms that keep that noise in check. Deficient cellular noise control can form the basis of numerous diseases and developmental disorders. Therefore, our basic research also will enhance our understanding of how human body functions attain reliability and robustness, and more importantly even, how these can break down. This may open up new possibilities for therapies. We are trying to port our methods from the cellular and tissue scale to the population scale, where uncontrolled random processes also can have dramatic effects. At the moment we are working on the characterization and development of pharmacological probes, and for this we use supercomputers to simulate, for example, proteins, cell membranes and drug-like molecules. While on the one hand we work at the immune system level and look at how our body behaves when we are healthy or sick, we look at the epidemiological level as well, for infectious diseases for example and how they spread in a population. There is a direct link between the two scales and that's what immune epidemiology is. We teamed up together uh, with uh, other theoretical collaborators and experimental collaborators to gain insight into how the virus infects human cells. And something like this was only possible by pooling up expertise and resources. And it shows the work, the result had a great international resonance. It shows really the potential of interdisciplinary initiatives, uh, exactly like uh, what drives projects like CMMS. My group contributed with models for understanding the spread of the disease in Germany and for controlling with known pharmaceutical interventions. We are currently working at mathematical models for optimizing the distribution of COVID-19 vaccine in Germany. Mathematical methods can help in understanding processes in very many fields of biology and medicine. I wish to make this more visible.
Stochastic processes have an enormous impact in our world, both in nature and in human societies. But people still tend to think in deterministic categories. My vision for the future is that we will gain a better understanding of random processes, and in particular, of the mechanisms that control them. Refined and further improved theoretical methods will provide a major step forward in natural sciences. Of course, it's a huge challenge to develop these methods, but they will enable detailed understanding of processes in nature, as well as the design of complex materials and molecules. And also they will allow to save resources because only the top candidates will be synthesized and tested experimentally. The ultimate dream is to really transform biology into a quantitative science, and this is not anymore an unreachable goal, but actually something that we will be able to achieve. Thank you.